Alright, so this is Willow Guard. I'm just gonna jump in on a save here, on a no save. Ten generations ago, nearly all the gods abandoned Tursa and the animals they had uplifted. Promising to return, they left the animals in the stewardship of two gods who stayed behind. One was the Willow God, who gave up their name and their body to inhabit the Willows said to give the animals their souls. Okay, wow, well, wow, well, that's... The other was the Luxana, the goddess of the moon, the betrayer, the mother of monsters. Oh no. Why would you leave that one? Her cult destroyed the great civilization of the gods from the inside and now only a few bastions of light remain, clustered around the surviving Willow Groves. Why would you leave the one that is the mother of monsters? The Willow Guard sworn to protect the Willow God and the Willow Trees against Luxana and her mother. That was too quick. Or so the story goes. Little Willow Guard cub, but if you let me, I will tell you the true story instead. You're on your way towards the village of uh, Waikos, an isolated community that borders the northern hinterlands. Sure. Okay. Do I, do I click? Okay. You've heard worrying reports of monster attacks that are uncommonly coordinated and brutal. The description of the monsters themselves are also unfamiliar. No, no. As you travel down the well-worn road towards the village, you suddenly feel the fur on your arm stand on edge. You sniff the air at the telltale stench of monsters. Quarus. Not just monsters. Blood. You draw your sword and consider your next step. I could take the long way around, warm up a little first. You see what looks like a makeshift training camp down by the river. Okay, let's scout the tutorial for... Uh, le no, let's let's scout the perimeter and, and check out the tutorial a little bit. Welcome to the combat tutorial. Scout the area by interacting with points of interest. Look for uh, look out for a star glitter effect and familiarize yourself with movement. You can always see what your objectives are by looking at the text on the map on the right. To move, do use WASD. Or your control to attack, use your left mouse button or X. Dodge right mouse or A. Interact with nodes, go close. Alright. Woo! Okay, we can't go back here. So we're looking for... Glitter. Um, F. Your sword attack consists of a three attack combo. The second and third attack do increase damage. And third attack in the combat also staggers enemy. Try breaking those boxes and barrels. Alright. Okay, those things look very creepy. Enemies have both armor. Divided physical and magical armor. Okay, your armor is shown in the UI next to yellow and purple. What? Next to your health. Is that my armor? Draw an ability card. How, how, how do I... How do I do that? Oh, I pressed up. Okay. Improve dodge. Take no damage while dodging. Long range magic arrow that pierces multiple enemies. On draw, it's twin. T adds it. Add its twin to your deck. I mean, I would like that. Uh, do I just get both? Use movement input to. Okay. Okay, I, I, I got. I got. Okay. All right, I got the thing. Let's see, I mean, the stamina bar, blue bar at the bottom. This is full press the tab ability card upgrades. Uh, okay, this is a little bit like a rogue like special willow guard healing salve that requires willow guard magic to activate, heals you for this or that. Um, so this is an E ability now. Found something valuable. Okay. What? 
Oh, I could. Oh. The Q ability is a one time thing. Hmm. What's this? Every time you use a card, it is put into your discard pile. You can sometimes reshuffle your discard pile back into your draw pile. Okay. Uh, dungeon completed. Hold down escape to exit dungeon. Alright, okay. Card base, loot obtained, shimmer the main currency. Okay. So, we got that card. Let's see. No more time to waste. Let's fight. Real monster. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, that, that, that thing is quick as heck. Okay, I'm gonna be so... What, what's... Oh, no. What? Am I bleeding or something? Oh, God. Seven monstrosities nearby. I'm gonna lose so hard on this. I'm not good with these kind of games. Anything skill-based. Okay, that, that wasn't too shabby. Oh, what's that? Oh, oh! What the heck are you? Okay. Lesser magic arrow. Uh, I would like... The selection here is really weird. Why not just let me click it? That is odd. Found something valuable. I Probably currency. Oh, no. No. Okay. I am very dead. It's good I found money, but I'm very dead. Healing salve. Let's... Let's take that. So we don't die. Maybe. I don't know what that is. Five. That's a dice? Ah, uh, definitely hit me again. I am not good with that. Oh god, I'm so dead. I'm very dead. Let me cue the heck out of these guys. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, 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 yeah. No! That is so mean though. It immediately gets at you and you're half health. Like... I mean, come on now. This might just be too difficult for me, I swear. Oh, man. Improved dodge. I mean, sure. Did it just hit the tree? Oh my god. Uh, the tree healed me? Okay, that's good to know. No, no! Ah! Okay, these trees are healing. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. Okay, that's... That's nice. That's good. That's good. We, we got healing trees. So what can we do? Lesser magic arrow, sure. That's pretty good skill. I mean, improved dodge would make some sense if I were better at dodging. Which I sure am not. Okay, and let's... okay, let's go with this. I like these monsters. They are they are doable. Okay, okay, we survived. We did it. We just had to hurt a bunch of trees. An adamant shard. Okay, let's. 
talk to this thing here first. Written into the surface of the rock is an archaic text. Rather than a crack, you can only barely understand it. This stone is made to record the transgressions of the banished of... Ag against the rightful lord of... God of... Okay. Your discard deck has been shuffled back into your hand. Okay, that's cool. So we got card base, less some magic, got some shimmer, some shards, some stuff, some things. You wipe your blood, you wipe your blade clean from blood, or try to at least. The acidic blood of one of the monsters has seeped into the metal. God damn it, this is going to take forever to clean. I can help with that. The badger steps out of a hiding spot, holding a heavy, looking blacksmith hammer in hand. Hmm. Ah, an expected willow guard would swoop in and save me. You're pretty scarce out here. Thank you. This is the first voice I've heard within a week of traveling. Other than your own, you feel familiar not from in your chest. Knowing you will need to interact with another living being once again. Okay, why is that a bad thing? That sounds... Why is that a bad thing? Queras approaches the world through your different inclinations. Called Creed. Empathy, instinct, and neuroticism. Okay. Sometimes you will be asked to make a choice that will increase one of these inclinations. Okay. Creed means following the tenets of the willow guard. Empathy means understanding your fellow animal. Instinct means listening to instincts. Not always a good thing. And neuroticism is a tendency to hyperfixate on details. I... It was my duty as willow guard. I think it was. Be the shield of the innocent against the shadow of the moon. You quote the greed reflexively. It's almost always an easy way out of a conversation. <laughs> she nods. <laughs> Good evening, Imuinus. Hello and welcome. I still have the wrong game up. I will... Uh, we are Badger Knight tonight. Yes, exactly. This is Willow Guard. And let me update the Twitch. I swear. I did it. I, uh, okay. You saved my life. My name is Ajit Ajati. I'm a blacksmith from the Voikos. I'm Queros. I'm headed towards Voikos. And I was headed away from Voikos until these monsters jumped us. You know of the monster attacks? I do. I was sent by the Billow Grove in Regnum Polis to investigate. I like that he, too, he, has, he has two swords. He's, he's the Witcher. He's Gerald. And to put an end to them... Yes. Good. Then I'll need a moment to gather some of my things from the wreckage. Where will you go? With you here. I no longer need to flee. I will accompany you back to Voikos. I see. She is clearly leaving you no choice in the matter. You keep watch over her as she gathers various things from the wreckage, including her anvil. Okay, she just... It's a pocket anvil. She just... I mean, she's a badger. Badgers are strong, but... Okay, now. Hey, Willow Guard. Catch. Don't throw the anvil. She tosses you something that is clearly found among the wreckage. A small pouch bound together with string. Cart base. Oil of sharpness. Catch. You catch the pouch. When you open it, you find various regions needed to craft an oil of smoke uh, of some kind. Something to, t uh, to tide you over until I can get to work for real. I'll need to put this together. Yes, but I think you will recognize the recipe. I'm sure you have the shimmer. Anyway, it's too late to make it to Oikos tonight. We'll have to make camp. We... Yes, unless you plan to on sending me alone into Luxana's embrace to be devoured by her children. I'll look for a spot. Oh, that's nice. That that, that that's nice. That's cute. That's cozy. We like that. You find a safe space to set up your camp. The blacksmith heads out to gather firewood, while you place down runes of protection and try to mask his scent as best you can. Soon, with the help of Ajati, you have a bright fire burning, just in time too as the sun sets below the treetops. It is uncommonly cold for this time of the year, and you both huddle close to the fire. There's a good fire. It will keep Luxana's minion at bay. She sits down opposite you, warming her paws against the flames. Judging by the way her shoulders slump, the events of the day seem to be catching up to her, finally. Uh, ask her about Voikos. Interrogate her about the attack. I don't know what I mean. What? I mean, what? Let her sleep. Ah, we'll just let her sleep. I don't know what these icons mean at all. 
Decide not to harass her with any more questions. She seems grateful. Affinity increased. That was a little bit of an odd sound. I will take first watch. Thank you. She makes a bed out of her cloak and lies down close to the fire. The moment her eyes close, she's asleep. You look at her for a while. Surprised, she's so quick to trust. Willow guards may be heroes in all the songs, but the reality is often much rougher. As always, the thought of your fellow Willow guards make your thoughts darken. Ooh, intriguing. I should meditate and perhaps put this all together. Meditate lets you improve your existing cards or craft new cards using card bases that you have found. Upgrading or crafting cards costs materials and shimmer, so invest wisely. You relax and prepare yourself for the rituals of the Willow Guard. Okay, we meditate and craft cards. Okay, all right. Okay, let's see. So we can craft this because we have the shimmer. We have this not, so we can't. Okay, now we can craft something. Not upgrade. That was the upgrade thing. Okay, so we can craft... I think we need more healing salve things, but we, we can't afford that. Can we afford anything? Okay, we can this. The oil of sharpness. So let's go. We craft this. Did, did. Okay, I have, to hold, I have to hold down. Why? Why games? Stop that. Stop the holding down thing, please. Just stop it. Okay, I think we did all we can do tonight. Creed, empathy, focus is four at the moment. Okay. Let's go. You finish meditating. Any new cards you have crafted need to be added to your deck by going into the journal feather in the upper right corner. And you... Okay. Oh. Okay, we have gear. Oh, I like that. I like gear. Uh, deck. Oil of sharpness. So now it's in the deck. Very good. Any new cards you have crafted? Du, 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 du. Uh, continue. You finish meditating. You relax and prepare yourself for the rituals of the Willow Guard. Continue. Long hours of the night stretch before you. Check the wards one last time. Trust your instincts. Now we're going to check the wards. Get up from your comfortable warm spot and walk out into the dark night to check once again if the wards you placed are holding. Hmm. Good, good. Yes. Everything is in order. The night is dark but calm, while the birds sing in the distance, but doing this makes you calm. Makes you feel like you're in control of something, at least. You turn to the fire, where you find the blacksmith has woken. She looks at you as you return to the circle of the light, her eyes wide. Was there? No. I was just checking. The wolves will tell us if anyone tries to sneak up on us. I see. Good. Thank you for keeping us safe. You don't know what to say, and she doesn't seem to expect a reply. She lies back down and closes her eyes, and within moments she is fast asleep again. You sense the passing of the hours, like you always do in your very blood. Although the night should be full of terrors, it never was for you. To you, the first rays of the sun always carry more terror than the dark of the night. Although you have learned never to let anyone know you feel that way. Blacksmith, it is your watch. I am awake. Anything to report? No. All quiet. Rest. You lie down by the fire and wrap your cloak around you like you have a hundred times before. Except this time someone else is watching the darkness. Maybe for that reason when you fall asleep your slumber is much, much deeper than usual. Oh. Story, story. The moon is bright, the ground moist and rich under your paws. You sniff and scratch at the mulch looking for earthworms. In your dreams, you're always wild, voiceless thing. An animal without an... Without an... Etman? Without a soul. Free to do what your instincts tell you. Something moves, you freeze and look up. There's something by the rock, a shape. The wind changes, but you smell nothing on it. Oh, my little one, how beautiful you could have been. You startle, but you feel oddly safe. Curious, you move closer to the thing... Moving thing that is making in the noise. A creature of some kind, sitting underneath the arch. You were never given the choice. That was our failure. It is too late to mend our mistakes. Can you forgive us? She reaches out for you, but you do not feel threatened. She is the strangest creature you have ever seen. Her skin smells of aspen and magic. Come to me. Find me here in this glade before it is too late. She touches your fur and you awake. Ooh, interesting. 
wake up. Ah, Willow God, Gueros, are you well? Since it is morning, although the first rays of the sun are still hidden behind the trees of the east, campfire is dying. Just a dream. There's no such thing as just a dream, Gueros. Dreams are how the gods speak to us. A new clue has been added. The moon shadow. The son of the goddess of the moon, the mother of monsters, the betrayer is in your dreams. What does this mean? Vision clings to your mind and refuses to let go. The smells, the sounds, the feel of a touch. You're sure that moonlit glade was the real place and somewhere here in Voikos. Hmm. I understand you do not wish to share your dreams with a stranger, but I may be able to help. She gets up and hands you your sword. She hadn't even realized she'd taken it. That was how deeply you slept. She has cleaned it and sharpened it. You need to strengthen that sword with more than a turn over the whetstone. The same goes for the rest of your gear. She glances out the outfit, standard Willogard attire, a little threadbare perhaps, but perfectly functional. Like most of Willogard equipment, it is made out of tough monster hides. I'm afraid Willogard weapons and armor outside the purvey of regular blacksmith. Her face lights up with an impish grin. Good that I'm not a regular blacksmith then, friend. Come see me in Voikos when you get there. You do not wish to travel together? No, Gueros. I know when I have outstayed my welcome. Besides, we're really not that far from the roadhouse. Uh, I see. As she heads off, you can hear others moving on the road as well, eager to catch the first light. Okay. Um, I think we'll just leave. The roadhouse. Was this map made with dungeon draft? I feel like I recognize some of these assets. That would have been funny. Um, okay, so we go to the roadhouse. Oh. The roadhouse is a sturdy, impressive building, clearly built to withstand both hostile weathers and creatures. Oh, they have round doors. We like that. It is well placed by the crossroads, welcoming to all who might travel these distant roads. Hmm. Weary travelers must welcome the sight of it. A trap with only one exit and too many guests. Definitely a trap. Not for me. Clean bedding is all very well, but I do not want to stay in somebody else's burrow. You can see the road move from here towards the village. Rodar's keepers tend to know and hear everything. Investigations besides fighting are the second most important part of a Willow God's job. When you investigate something, you unlock new locations, new objectives, new characters, and more story. Observing your surroundings and spending focus is one of the way uh, for Gueros to find new... I mean, Gueros is also very close to Gerald, isn't it? Um, so plan your investigations and your fights accordingly. Spending focus will level up your associated inclination, and having levels in inclination will make the focus cost of those options cheaper, allowing you to specialize. Okay, all right. So there's a there's a choices matter system in here. The roadhouse looks as sturdy as ever. Observe the roadhouse. Let's observe the roadhouse. Might be worth a look. Okay, so we can spend four focus on the swirly thing. We can one on the sword, one on the star. Am I being watched? Cared for with love. Something odd. Willow guards and roadhouses. Let's go with something odd. It's very costly, but... Focus has been removed. Hmm. Looks like those foundations have foundations. This roadhouse was probably built on top of some older building. I wonder what it used to be. A temple or an outhouse? The roadhouse looks as sturdy as ever. Okay, we still have one focus point left. So we can do the willow guards and the roadhouses. Rodas keepers are required by law to provide free accommodation to any willow guard who requests it. Something that has been abused before. Not that I need it, but I should keep it in mind. Okay. Let's go inside. I don't think we have anywhere else we go to go. The interior of the roadhouse is cozy as the outside suggested. It's early in the day. There aren't a lot of patrons around though. Behind the counter, an elderly wolf is busying himself with the morning stew. Ah, a guest. Come in, come in, traveler. Take a seat. Please, make yourself comfortable. The roadhouse keeper goes back to the zoo. The smells makes your mouth water and your stomach rumble. 
Let's observe the patrons. Almost everyone you see looks like they are locals, farmers and loggers mainly, but sitting in the table in the back, someone who looks out of place. Oh. Hmm. Surrounded by scrolls, a scholar of some kind. You conclude your observations. Let's speak to the keeper. Welcome, welcome to my roadhouse. I'm Boros, the owner of this establishment. The wolf is old, grey, and round the muzzle, but even if his movements are stiff, his eyes are alive and quick. What can I do for you, stranger? Hmm. We'll introduce ourselves as Willow Guard. Let's do that. I am a Willow Guard. They call me Gueros. The roadhouse keeper immediately looks suspicious. Really? Forgive me for being cautious, but you can you prove that? Far too many concerns and black guards on the roads these days. Oh, would say anything for a free meal. Obsidian necklace. Short ceremonial knife. We'll show the knife. That's that's from the Willow Guards. That's how we identify ourselves. You show him your Willow Guard. A Kaido, the mark of your guild. The roadhouse keeper acknowledges it with no apparent enthusiasm. He is probably expecting to have to offer me accommodation for free. He doesn't seem very excited to do so. I'm not here to impose on your hospitality. I aim to sleep in my own camp. The roadhouse keeper brightens visibly, even though he makes a big show of shaking his head and spreading his arms. My doors are open to you, of course, Willow Guard. As the king decrees, although I am running out of rooms. The old wolf looks visibly more at ease. Affinity increased. So the headman's uh So the headman's message has finally arrived, did it? I'm glad, I'm glad. Yes, the Willow Grove heard of your monster problem and assigned me to it. Must be strange to be so far from Peg uh, Regnum Polis and all the fancy lords and ladies. The wolf chuckles. <laughs> Still, I'm glad that the Willow Grove saw fit to grace us with its attention, even though I'm sure we could have handled it. He does not finish his sentences. His eyes twinkle with amusement at his own apparent wit. Then he sighs. <sighs> so, what can I do for you, Willow God? I have some questions I would like to buy him. Show him an item. I have some questions. I think we have a little bit of time for some questions still. I'd like to ask some questions. Questions? Well, I do like to say I keep my ears to the ground around Wikos. Mm, let's hear something about the attacks. Can you tell me anything about the monster attacks around Wikos? Monster attacks? Pah! Aren't they always skulking about in there somewhere? All you need is a sturdy crossbow and a keen eye and they'll leave you alone. Just don't go wandering in the woods at night. Hmm... Ask about other Willow Guards visiting Voikos. Let's go with the whatever that is. You said others have come here pretending to be Willow Guards. What about real Willow Guards? Mm, truth be told, you are the first Willow Guard I've ever seen in Voikos. But this cannot be the first time Voikos has been attacked by monsters. The Rodas Keeper shrugs and you sense there is something more to this. We just never saw the need to call for one, which is good. My sons tell me what moochers they are, staying and eating for free, sometimes for months. Hmm. A new clue has been added. A lack of willow guards. Despite the attacks and the remoteness, Voikos has not called for willow guards before. Why? Let's ask about the roadhouse, because we know a little bit about it. There's an interesting building you have here. It seems large for a place as small as Voikos. Borsos looks pleased. I built it myself, <laughs> with, with the help of my sons. Uh, maybe you've stayed at one of the establishments out in the world. Uh, I, te I tend to stay in my camp. Well, <laughs> if you ever do, you will find them as fine as this one. We are a whole institution. Point out, he clearly built a roadhouse on top of an older building. This house is built on an existing foundation. What was it before? Borsos looks a little affronted, frowning at you for a moment. It sounds defensive. Uh, the, the, the whole of Voikos is built on its foundations. Uh, it, it used to be a capital city in, in the days of the gods, you know. Just walk three steps into the woods and you'll find ruins of all kinds of things. Though I wouldn't recommend it. Not right now. Hmm. 
You've learned Volkos was formerly a much larger city. Uh, a polis in the time of the gods. Monsters usually congregate in the ruins of the gods. Which might explain why there are so many of them. Was there anything else? Uh, oh, was there anything else? That's him. I, I wish... What would really help me to understand immediately who's talking if the the name tag would switch to the side where it is. Like that would be really that would be really cool. Um ask about Voikos. Ask about the scholar you saw. Who's that young hedgehog over there? She a guest. Borsos looks towards the hedgehog, who immediately looks down at her papers, pretending she wasn't listening. Ah, indeed, indeed. One of many. I, I believe she said she was here looking for her old mentor. A very learned and delightful young lady. <laughs> she, she's been studying the ruins around here, as well as our fields and, and their shrines. Let's ask about the city. What can you tell me about Voikos? Ah, Voikos. It is home above all. Famous for its produce. Its blooming fields. Try our stew. It, it's truly divine. Hmm... Up the road, you'll find the village itself. More of a town, as, as I see it. Even though the census takers from the Regnum Polis, they, they seem to consider it a village. Oh, thank you. Now, anything else I can help you with? Nothing else. That's all. Well, I, I will be here if you need anything. I leave. The, the wolf watches us as we leave, giving you a polite smile. As you exit the roadhouse, you sense someone is following you. Moments after stepping out, you hear a voice call after you. Uh, ex uh, excuse me, sir. Did you say you were a willow god? It is the scholar you saw among the patrons inside, even now still clutching a feathered pen. I am. A pe pleasure to meet you. My name is Xing Rei. I, I, I am initiate of the Order of Gurnos. You fight monsters, right? I could really use your help. You see, my sister has been interrupted by a monster attack. I left all of my notes behind, too. And I don't dare go back to try and find them. Can you help me? She wrings her hands and looks up at you with her large, shining eyes. They don't look very large nor shining, but I... Uh, we protect the willows. We are not monster hunters. Um, I might be able to if I have the time. I mean, what's the difference? Is this, if it's not killing monsters also that? He even has an amulet. He's literally Gerald. Um, now nah, he's a little bit, he's a little bit cross. So he, we protect the willows. We are not monster hunters. We are willow guards. We protect the willows. Killing monsters is not our main task. I, I understand, but the monsters are all over the fields. They, they, they will destroy the harvest if no, no one stops them. And the shrines I'm studying, they, they have something to do with the willows. I know they do. Mm. And knowing where the monsters are might help me find out where they're coming from. The fields are just outside of Oikos. If you follow that road, you can't miss them. You will know when you see the first shrines. Shrines? Uh, yes, the, the locals use some kind of magic to keep the fields fertile. That's what I was studying. Mm, I will see what I can do. The young scholar nods nervously. I, I would be so grateful. I will wait here for your return. The roadhouse looks as sturdy as ever. And we're just going to go leave then. And we're going to go over to the spring fields. And we'll check it out. We'll see what's going on here. Sun, spring, fields. The shrine sits at the kind of crossroads where paths leads into the fields at various directions. The shrine and stone of altar of some kind is full of ritual objects. This must be where the scholar left her notes. I smell monsters. Uh, let's um, let's observe, observe the shrine. Tied together, sticks, bowls, and spices drink. Bits of shimmer and the objects range from offerings to fetishes. Curious. Fascinating community, uh, mon monument to the community. We're going to go with that. Mm. The whole village must have come together. Add offerings to the shrine. Some of these things are valuable, yet no one has stolen them. Worship of the absent gods continues, of course, throughout Tersa. But this feels more personal. A whole village united in worship and community. You wonder what the god shrine is dedicated to. Perhaps some kind of god of farming? I should ask Ray. Okay, let's go look for monsters. I draw your sword and head out into the field. I can already smell them. 
No ambushing me this time. I'm ready. Ah! What did I just say? Okay, first one down. I like these one. These ones... They telegraph their stuff. Okay, let's go for improved dodge. Oh god, what the... Oh no, what... What in the world are you? Avoided being hit. Can you imagine? Oh. Nah, this one got me. Let's go eat the trees. And oil of sharpness. Causes tear damage with every attack. I'll take that. Monster fur. Ah, oh, no, that thing got us. Got us good. Let's get the healing salve to heal us up here. And lesser stone skin rune. Grants immunity to bleed damage. Oh, uh, please. Yes, give. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, oh no. Oh, God, we're dead. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, no. I got stuck on something. I don't know on what. And let's try this again. It's the last uh, thing we're gonna do for tonight. I gotta go to sleep for work soon in the mornings. Oh god, I'm dying on the first one already. That's not a good look. Scrib it. Master Timok always told me to separate superstition from real magic, but I'm having a real hard time to do that with these shrines. They shouldn't work, but they do. I forgot to investigate stuff, honestly. I should probably investigate stuff. Oh, ah! I think I, I'm not even getting to the to the first healing option. Okay, I am, but only barely. I sense twelve monstrosities nearby. Um. Okay, let's get some magic missile going here. Okay. Let's get the lesser stone skin rune here. So we're immune to bleed. Which will make me completely overconfident. Okay. Oil of sharpness. We'll take it. Make it a sword a little bit better. Oh, how did that hit me? Okay, that's a that's a pretty darn big hitbox for this. Can we find more Healy trees? The monsters here seem to leave me alone as long as I stay close to the shrines. Another proof that they are potent, but they are definitely getting braver. Okay. 
I need more healing trees or something. Four monstrosities nearby, but, but I'm almost dead. No! No! <laughs> All right, okay. That was my last try for tonight. I like the story, but I'm really bad at these kind of games, so I'm not sure if that's for me. Uh, but I think this this is possibly something worthwhile to check out. Like it's a very good mix of this kind of gameplay. I think um, I think this might actually be worth a wish listing. Not for me, not my type of game. But I'm intrigued. The the story is really interesting. I must say, like that would make a really really good D and D campaign, for sure. So. Um, yeah, we're going to leave it here for tonight. 